Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you some patriotic, patriotic uh, DIYs. Uh, our Canada Day is on July 1st and I wanted to create some create some decor that I can use in decorating my space. So for, for the very first one I had cut out some uh, uh, letters on my Cricut machine using my Cricut Maker and I'm using this six inch round that I had purchased on Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace and then the maple leaf came from stockade.ca uh, if you don't know what stockade.ca is I will link it down in the description box you can check it out they have tons of uh, different uh, crafting supplies uh, for us they're local but um, they're um, they ship as well so I'm going to paint this round with some of my Annie Sloan original. I am just about done with this paint, so I just added some water just to get whatever's left and dried up in the bottom. I am trying to dry brush this paint, um, so I'm not saturating the paint too much with uh, the paintbrush too much with paint. I also would like to mention that this video is part of a Canada A collab hosted by my dear friend Lisa from Lisa and Company and we did this collab last year so we're, we're back at it again this year to give you tons of uh, decorating inspiration and even if you're not Canadian you can take these DIYs anyways my DIYs um, and adapt them to whatever country you're from because uh, some of my ideas came from the American patriotic uh, decor and I just adapted it to Canadian so after I was done brushing on the paint I took it off the uh, off a little bit with a rag and I'm dry brush brushing the paint onto my maple leaf and I'm just using deep red acrylic paint so like I was saying this is a, ch uh, a ch collaboration or a challenge uh, and um, there will be a playlist linked in the description box as well as Lisa's channel so make sure you check both out after you are done watching my video and if you're hopping over from the playlist or coming over from the playlist um, and this is your first time stopping by welcome my name is Sonia and this is my DIY channel well you will find tons of DIYs using dollar store materials and other other, as well as some thrift store flips and furniture upcycles so I hope that you will press the subscribe button and a notification bell and become part of my YouTube family so I had taken that maple leaf and just kind of um, centered it and marked it off where it's going to uh, go just so that way I know where to put these letters. The vinyl that I'm using for this project did come from Dollar Tree and I do find that it's not as sticky as the Cricut vinyl or the vinyl that you can get on Amazon but for this project it worked out perfect. So I'm just taking word by word and placing it and then I will be moving it around just making sure that it fits um, properly onto this uh, round. So I would love to know do you guys decorate for uh, like Canada Day or um, Memorial Day or whatever um, patriotic holiday that you have uh, coming, coming up. Um, I don't do a lot of it. I did used to do a lot more when the kids were younger, but I still want to do uh, just simple touches. A lot of it is outdoors on my front porch, but this year I decided to maybe just include a couple of them inside my house, which I will be sharing over on my um, home channel just to show you how I add all of these touches into my already summer decor and if you miss my summer home tour uh, I will have a link to my home channel in the description box if you want to check that out so now I'm just transferring the top letters and then I will be working on the bottom letters
So we, I live in Ontario, in case if you did not know, and we have just um, opened up all our non-essential stores last Friday. So I had went out and replenished my craft supply, which um, I was running fairly low as it was. And then we ended up having a flood last week in my kitchen and it leaked all into the basement and it uh, actually leaked all over the shelf that holds all my crafting supplies. So I had to go pick through it and um, some of it I had to throw out because it was too damaged because especially a lot of the wood supplies that I've had so nevertheless I went out um, just a couple days ago actually with my friend Sandra from the Schwollen's Nest and we hit up some uh, dollar stores as well as uh, a thrift store just to pick up um, and replenish some of my supplies So now the last thing that I'm adding from my vinyl cutouts are the little maple leaves. I am not quite sure what happened with the little stems for the other ones because I just um, used the same ones to cut and uh, the stem, I didn't even see them on the, uh, the vinyl that I cut the, the stem so I'm not sure what, what happened to them. So I am just adding them with the little brush. Now, when after I was uh, done um, putting all my letters down, I, I did find that the red was a little bit bright. Um, and I'm not an awful big fan of bright red. So I ended up toning it down with dry brushing some of the white paint that I used to paint it and then just going with the rag and taking it off. And I find that this had made it less bright. And then I, that was it. So what do you think? I think it turned out really cute. And this was actually an inspiration from Michael's. For my next project, I had thrifted this maple leaf, which on its own, I think is beautiful. But I wanted to add a little bit color for the patriotic the design because uh, I think this maple leaf would be wonderful for fall which I might actually use it that way um, just to flip it but for this side I am going to paint dry brush the paint a red in the middle and then the two whites on the side and I found this inspiration online I'm not sure which store it was that carried this maple leaf but I thought it was really cute so the paint that I'm using for this is the acrylic paint in deep red and then I am brushing my Annie Sloan original in white to the sides. This was such a simple DIY and I think it turned out really, really cute. Now this DIY was definitely uh, a US patriotic DIY inspiration that I adapted for Canada. Uh, I had picked up these um, windmill from uh, actually from Sandra but they do come in Dollarama as well except when I went to buy it they didn't have it and Sandra had a couple extras so I had gotten it off of her. It's really nice to have uh, people I can fall back on. My sister Vesna is also on YouTube. You might know her as Vesna TV and we help each other out quite a bit. So for this one, I want to uh, separate it into three sections. So I'm going to take a ruler and just draw a line down so I know where I want each paint to go. And I will be using that um, Red, deep red that I've been using as well as any Sloan white or origin, old white or the original as it's called now and I removed the little top off because I will paint that as well and then I will be adding a maple leaf to it that I got at Stockade.
so I would love to know what some of your summer plans are um, I we are campers and we have a week uh, booked camping uh, in August uh, so I'm looking forward to that and then we my husband and I have a little getaway in July just uh, in um, a little beach town uh, near us and uh, we're staying at a resort I hope that that happens but I'm very hopeful and uh, confident that it will but our camping <laughs> our camping trips gonna be definitely interesting last year we only had Duke um, Duke is my Bernie fee Bernie's new fee and he is right now 16 months old so last year when we camped i think he was about seven months and it was pretty good can't complain this year uh, we're going with duke and frank and frank is my new puppy that i have and um oh it, it will be interesting i wonder if we're gonna get kicked out of the camper if they get too loud but we'll see well I have never take I had taken my golden once camping because I could never go away from him he had such separation anxiety so if I were to leave the campground uh, let's say to go campsite to go to the washroom he would be very loud and barking so I never took him but these guys we are taking and it'll be interesting make sure you stu stay tuned for updates so as you saw i painted the wood maple leaf and then i just glue it on to that little turning well little little round thing on top i think this turned out really cute and i'm going to be adding it in my garden The last project that I am working on uh, was um, a little sign. Now this sign you need to pretty much screw to a wall because otherwise um, it wouldn't won't work um, because it needs to be um, sturdy and it can't move. So I have this, I think it's um, nine inches across and I think I cut it down to 20 inches down and I will be staining it with the stain but I wanted it to be a little bit lighter so I actually ended up mixing the stain with a little bit of water and just to uh, kind of water it down so the stain isn't as dark when I'm applying it and I will be using a rag to apply it now when, obviously when you are i'm sorry i moved away from my bird so it's not chirping too loud and now my dog had come and is eating his bone right beside me so that's what you the clicking sound you're hearing so like i was saying i am uh, using a rag and you want to go in a direction of the wood grain whenever you're staining any type of wood now i'm just going over in couple areas just to darken certain parts of it and don't forget the sides now once that's done I will be attaching this uh, can opener that I had picked up on Amazon and I was really upset because the other day when I went to dollar store dollar I had these paddles for four dollars with this can opener and I paid, paid ten dollars for the can opener only so um, if you if you're looking for these make sure you head on over to dollar and pick up those paddles because you can just take them off the paddle and put it on the sign that you're making so this the, this did come with screws so I'm just screwing that to it uh, to the wood so this is the part where you want your uh, sign to be screwed into the wall because when you're opening your bottles you don't want the sign to be lifting with with it now once this was on um i had my friend sandra print these out on tissue paper for me because she has the jet printer i have the laser and i'm not sure how the laser would work on tissue paper and if uh, the tissue paper got crumbled inside the laser printer i think my husband would never forgive me <laughs> so I had Sandra do it for me and then I had used Mod Podge to glue the map of Canada onto the wood 
So as you saw, I apply Mod Podge on top and on the bottom and then just cover it well and then you can also add if depending on where you're putting the sign some sort of a weather weatherproofing stain i know any sloan the her their glaze that they have now is weatherproof so it will withhold uh, in rain withstand rain i think that's how you say it so um you want to um uh, put something like that on so that way it doesn't get damaged and speaking of English language I am well fairly well not a fairly new Canadian I have been here for oh, almost 28 years I think and but I did not uh, I moved here when I was 15 and um, with my family from a former Yugoslavia uh, and we moved here because of the current uh, political situation that was happening in my country. And uh, yeah, and I've been here with them since then. And I consider Canada my country. And I am proud to say I'm Canadian. So I would love to know um, if you live in Canada. Are you a newer Canadian or were you born here? So now I have these letters. I don't know even if you can really see what I'm doing here, but I am tracing them. I uh, cut them out on uh, on my Cricut machine thinking I was going to use it as a stencil, but it did not work out. I don't think I had the right blade on to cut it. Um, so then I ended up cutting it with scissors. So I just traced it around and now I'm filling in with that stain that I used but I'm just uh, using the actual stain without being watered down and I'm painting like I said with I'm using a brush to fill in the letters and then once the these letters have dried I do take which I did not show you um, a sandpaper and then just uh, sand it lightly just to uh, smooth out any um, thickness that this, uh, the brush might have caused with, with the stain because some just on the edges I found that it was a little bit heavier so I wanted to sand that down. So I would love to know what you thought of these, which one was your favorite. Let me know down in the comments and also don't forget to check out the playlist as well as Lisa's channel which will all be linked down in the description box. And if this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. Upload. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.